starting off another weekend vlog. If you're new here, my name is Siobhan, pronounced like the material. And if you're not new here, welcome back, girl. So it is Friday. We're starting off another weekend vlog. I'm about to go into Ulta. I finally made it. Um, and I'm going to get the vitamin C serum from um, Sunday Rally. Like, I need that serum. But yeah, let's get the weekend started. <laughs> This one here. So I got it here. It's actually number one. Wow, that's cool. I don't know what list, but got number one. So it looks like you can still get some Becca products with Smashbox because y'all know Becca kind of went out of business. The highlighters were always so cute. I look at the super group. Now I'm going to try to look for a cream blush. I'm back in the car y'all i'm about to get a car wash because i have so many like dead bugs on there hi how are you? Good. good how are you good. just a car wash yeah yeah sounds good we do have that monthly unlimited on sale for only 22.99 come through anytime any location uh no thank you from that our super kiss plus we still recommend gets like the gloss glass glaze and tire shine does include two free washes good for two weeks as well okay i'll do that okay. one Perfect. yeah have that in the buy to get one free sale so free packages for the price of two but for two months any car so something you're interested in mm, no thank you yeah, all right so it'll be 25.92 after tax okay on the car perfect yeah did you want to make it even 26 for mental health awareness oh yeah perfect. thank you so much ladies okay yeah i just want to get the outside today not the inside i have so many dead bugs on the front of my car because I did a long distance drive and you know when you go so fast oh my goodness poor bugs <laughs> okay so let me roll my window up let me make sure my window wipers are on like um off while I go in this thing because I had them on automatic but I need them to be off so this thing can clean appropriately Okay, so I had went to Ulta, and y'all see when I got literally just the vitamin C serum and the um, vitamin C serum and the super goop. I would like to have a cream blush, so I already like the Chanel one, which is a bomb, but I want like another color too. And y'all, I don't know why I always get nervous going through these drive throughs Like I feel like I don't be following the directions right. Oh yeah, good, get those bugs, sir. <laughs> I really like this um, car wash. They're really nice here. Um, but anyway, so I seen the Fenty blush, but I didn't see a color that I really, really like. And I looked online and it looked like Selena Gomez has the um, cream blush as well along with those like liquid blush but I think the liquid blush draws down um, matte I don't know I gotta see I gotta see when I get there and then um, so they only have it at Kohl's oh y'all this is the part that be stressing me out oh my goodness when I gotta turn my car into neutral something about Tesla's like they don't be wanting to go into neutral for real Okay, good. Woo! It did good today, y'all. Oh my god. I don't know why I'd be so nervous. I think it's because I had to hold it down on a brake for a long time. But if the undercarriage for the machine be moving, the car get confused and scared and like goes in like protective mode or something like that. But anywho. But yeah, I want to go to the Coles and uh oh look, y'all can see how cute it is in here. Whoa. Can y'all see? Okay. 
Okay, was that relaxing to y'all? So, um, yeah, I want to go to Kohl's to see how Selena Gomez. Sorry, y'all, if I'm like all over the place. Ah, sometimes I have to pay attention in this car wash. But I want to try the Selena Gomez um, Lush. That's liquid or either cream. If the liquid comes off as like gl glowy or like a satin finish, I'll get it. But I really want something that's like glowy. Because I don't wear a highlighter like that anymore. So I want the blush to be glowy and look like flesh light. So, yeah. It looked like the um, Fenty formula would be good. But I didn't... Like one, I didn't need any of the colors that I seen at the Ulta. I think Sephora probably has more colors. So I'll see the Fenty blushes at uh, Sephora too. So we'll see. Y'all, Sephora at Kohl's is not playing. Like they made the whole outside look like Sephora. But as soon as you go in, it's just Kohl's. So I have to find the Sephora section. Just like a Sephora, so cute. These are the Charlotte Tilbury um, Beauty Light wands. So pink gas on one of the bottom, and then peach gas on one of the top. They're cute. So this is the rare beauty what I came here for: the apricot and the nearly neutral. So these are the melting blushes. Um, so. The apricot and nearly neutral you can't really see anything this is the apricot which is cute but it's not as glowy as I would want it to be so I think I may go with the Charlotte Tilbury like glowy blush I like that one I think I found what I needed these are the liquid blush um, still wear beauty it's the dewy from the dewy collection though, or the dewy formula this is joy so pretty Hope. So pretty. Hey y'all, so I'm out of Sephora. I couldn't talk as much as I wanted to in there because um, of copyright, the music was kind of loud. But I ended up getting the Nearly Apricot color. So let me show y'all. This blush is super cute. I'm gonna put it on tomorrow when I'm getting dressed and showing y'all. Um, but yeah, I really like the packaging, but it's a very pretty, like mauve orangey color. So cute. And then I got, um, hold on. Then I got the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Spray. All right, that's pretty good. And then I got a sample of the Moroccan oil hairspray. Just like a hair perfume. I never had a hair perfume, but um, I'm going to try it. And then I got this Patrick Ta. This looked so cute. So this is the plumping gloss. Okay, there's a, a little light. <laughs> Let me see if light turns on back. That ain't doing nothing. Um, but this is the Patrick Ta. What? Oh, I thought I spilled something. So this is called... Okay. Patrick Ta plumping gloss and I didn't necessarily want the plumping but I really like the color y'all I know the lighting is not the best right now so I'll show y'all tomorrow again too but I'm feeling really chatty right now but this okay this color is so freaking cute like it's a clear but a henna like mauve and y'all know I'm a mauve type of girl Okay, look at that. That's going to look so cute and like neutral against my own lips. I can't wait to try it on 
um tomorrow y'all so i'm gonna put on tomorrow <laughs> i think this is the most thing mm, let me smell this smells smells good okay so i can't wait to try that on tomorrow when i have clean lips because i just got um jack black um bomb on right now that keeps my lips hydrated but yeah that's my my stuff i got so i'll definitely show y'all the blush in better lighting again if it's hard if it comes off not so well right now but i would say that sephora in there in the coals is better than the sephora at the mall that i go to and the mall i go to they be they have like shootings in there and one time i went to the mall and i was with um my two friends and this guy he was like six feet tall this was like a while ago he yelled in my face uh, okay employee came outside i wonder like why she walked outside that's weird because you never see employees walk outside they usually stay in the store looking around there's not really that many people out here um anyways so he yelled in my face bougie 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 I don't know why, um, but that experience, people shooting in the mall, then I had that experience at the other mall where it was a suspected, suspected shooting. Like, I'm apprehensive about going to the mall. If y'all seen that, if y'all seen that vlog where that incident happened, uh, leave a red heart below, y'all. Oh my goodness, that was crazy, and I was running in like hills, and I didn't even fall. Uh, thank, thank goodness to my date who saved me. <laughs> so, anywho, um, I really enjoyed going to this one. This one is obviously fought well y'all don't know but this is farther out from my house in the mall but like i'll go here anytime they didn't have the joy blush that i wanted from rare beauty so i think i'm gonna just buy it from sephora online because i'm probably not gonna make it to the mall i really want i like instant gratification so maybe i will go to sephora at the mall tomorrow i don't know but if not i'll order it online there is a scent that i smelled today that smells so good it's called wild poppy by ness i mean it smells so good y'all i didn't buy it because i feel like i'm going to get it as a gift from somebody um for like yeah i think i'm going to get it for, uh, uh, as a gift for somebody so i didn't buy it i'm gonna just wait and see um y'all ever do like wish lists for stuff not wish lists but not wish lists <laughs> not a i guess a wish list or like you have something on amazon where you share the list with somebody and it's like things that you like so i think i may get it i don't know if not i'll go and buy it but i don't want to have two of them i only need one because perfume tends to last me a long time but it smells so good it's called wild poppy by ness y'all uh but yeah i am well pleased with my purchases honestly all i wanted today was the vitamin C and I got all this other stuff. <sighs> Anyways, I don't regret it. Cause I honestly I didn't buy anything this past two weeks. So I'm pretty proud of myself. I cause I just really haven't had the urge to buy stuff or there hasn't been stuff that I wanted to buy. And I also have been so consumed with finding an apartment instead of like shopping online for clothes and stuff like that. So I haven't bought anything. So I'm pretty proud of myself. Um, so yeah, but regarding an apartment update, I'm this I found something good. So I put an application in and y'all know how y'all usually just put y'all they verify your employment or something that they do i don't know but now they be asking for bank statements and i'd be like oh my gosh y'all really be wanting to be on our business like for an apartment like golly 
I don't already told you my showed you my pay stubs. Like, why you need to see my bank account as well? That seems very weird to me. But I don't know. I, I'm I, I'm not in real estate, so I don't know why they be having to have. Oh, there's a Target over here too. Was there a Starbucks? Is there a Starbucks here? First of all, it's 9.57 at night. Why? Even if a Starbucks is around here, it is going to be closed. <laughs> Let me turn my behind around and go home because it is nighttime and I do not be outside at night, y'all. I don't be outside. Well, I would say I don't really be outside at night by myself. Oh, they have a friendlies here? That's cute. <sighs> All right. I'll check in with y'all later. Happy Saturday. So it's early Saturday morning, y'all. I've been up since 7.22. That's the time it was when I looked up the clock. Um, I'm usually an early riser. So my body automatically wakes me up at like 6 something usually every day and the latest i sleep in is like seven something um so yeah i'm about to clean my makeup brushes so here they are whoopsies and um then i have this one which is the eyebrow i don't know what this is called eyebrow brush <laughs> I'm from Anastasia so I'm gonna um, watch that these are some of my favorite brushes so this is the pro concealer brush from I think it's the is this Sephora collection yes yeah, Sephora number 45 and then another Sephora brush Sephora got some good brushes y'all um, 57 this is the one I use like for blending concealer um, it's called Pro Concealer. You could probably use this for eyeshadow as well, for blending. And then I like this one. This is the Rare Beauty um, Blush Brush. I really like it. I use this to apply my, not blush. I use this to, honestly, I don't know. I think it's just a powder brush. But I use this to apply my um, contour. I mean, my bronzer, which I use as contour. Because I don't put contour on anymore. I just use bronzer and I do that. Love that one. And I got another powder brush. This is from KVD. I use this just to do all over to apply my powder on top of my cream foundation. It's number 20. I like this one. It blends well too. And then I have two blush brush because there was a time that I went to DC I probably seen that vlog where I forgot my brushes at home so I had to get two powder brushes so um this is the one I originally had from Mac I had this for a while now I don't even know what number it is because the numbers have rip, rubbed off but it's their brush br blush brush like right in here it gets into that area I like how it's like slanted y'all see that and then the second one I got is from the Sephora Collection Girl 93. I really like Sephora brushes. And I just use it. It's good for sculpting, so I use it for my blush. So yeah, I like this one, y'all. If I had to get all brushes again, I would probably just like get Sephora Collection because their brushes are pretty good. Um, and I haven't had any fallout from my Sephora brushes. So, uh, what else? Oh, this foundation one. This is a full coverage phrase from Bobbi Brown. I like this one to apply my foundation. And it really is for like full coverage, full coverage. Now, I got this brush a real, real long time ago from MAC. It's a foundation brush. And I can't, I think it's, I don't know if it's called stippling. I'm not sure, exactly sure the name of it. The number's rubbed off. But like it gives, it's buildable cover. It makes buildable coverage. But also like if you want a more natural look for foundation, so medium to full, this is a good brush, you know. 
So I use this if I want full coverage and I use this one if I want medium. So I think this is called a kombu kombuki. I don't know, I'll link it below. And then this is the um, medium and the full coverage. And then I think that's all the brushes, yeah. So these are the ones I use all the time. And then my beauty um, blenders. Let me go get my beauty blenders. beauty blenders are always is already clean um i thought i needed to clean but not but then this is my other one it's actually kind of old and it has rips in it so i think i might throw it away so the cleaner i'm going to use is the sephora solid brush and sponge cleaner with pad comes with a little uh, pad on there to run the bristles over and then the soap is underneath as it's like sent to it um like hmm, just like regular soap but it doesn't it's not like heavily like have a lot of fragrance in it or like it's not a strong scent so i've used it plenty of times and i haven't had any allergic reaction when i use my brushes so i know i got eczema girl so yeah, so let me wash these. I'm just going to wash them in my sink. Brushes are all clean. Now I'm just going to let them air dry. So I got some new um, nail prep containers. These are from Amazon. I thought they were so cute. So they're glass containers with a bamboo top. I'll link them below. But, um, oops, try to open them. They are dishwasher and microwave safe. Packed really well, too. So it comes with four in a container. Oh, uh, they don't come with no paper or anything. Hmm, no paper. So they are microwave. And dishwasher safe. I I think I'm gonna like I don't know if I want to put the top in my way, though. I don't think I'll put the top in the dishwasher either. I think I, I like the hand wash glass glass. I don't know. I'm just that type of person. But yeah, they're so cute and they're actually like pretty big. And I was going to use these for meal prep, but I'm just like, this is a big container for one meal. Yeah. But anywho, I think they were so cute and I can't wait to show up to lunch with this. Not that anybody's going to be looking. <laughs> it's just me. I just bought it for myself. They're so cute. Or even just, it's cute to just store stuff. So i made like um oh my goodness okay y'all y'all will be proud of me so i haven't eaten out this week i ate out once it's probably in my last vlog on tuesday because i went to a retirement party for a colleague at work and it was really really fun but i did not well did i no, the food was there. So I didn't like order something. I got food from whatever was available at the party. So, mm -hmm. so I didn't eat out. Um, and I'm really proud of myself because the week prior, I ate out like four times, y'all. And when I'm talking about eating out, I'm talking about ordering in. And I need to stop that. Like Grubhub has definitely got all of my money. So I'm really proud of myself. 
And one thing that really helped me this week was I made a big batch of like food. And when I say big batch, it wasn't that big. It lasted me three days, I would say. And I typically don't like leftovers, but it was zucchini and I was able to do that. So being able to come home and have the food ready really helped me not like order out. Like I didn't have to prepare anything. So yeah, I'm, a lot of people probably already know that tip, but like I need to really do it to realize like, wow, this really worked. Because at the end of the week, I was uh, Marco Polo and my friend and I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't eat out. Like I didn't order in and I'm like so proud of myself. And it's because I did a big batch of food. So this week, I think the vegetable that I'm going to cook, I got some Brussels sprouts, so I think I'm going to roast some Brussels sprouts, so yeah. I'm back, y'all. So I have done my makeup except use, put on blush, lip gloss, and setting spray. So this is the Rare Beauty uh, Cream Blush in Nelly Apricot. I love an orange blush. I think oranges and peaches just look good on me, specifically orange or like deep um, peach colors. I got a peach shirt on right now, but I wanted to show y'all my favorite blush. This is from Makeup Forever. It is so cute. Um, someone's playing music really loud. Hopefully y'all don't hear it or get a copyright. Um, I think it's like people who are, um, performing, um, like construction work. Okay. So it's B402. It is such a pretty color. It's like an orange curly. So, um, if I didn't tell y'all before, I did purchase the Joy, uh, color. It's the liquid blush that has a dewy finish. I purchased that from Sephora because it was out of stock from all the Sephoras around here. So I think that would be actually really, really perfect. But I really wanted to try this one because I liked the way it looked on my arm, I mean my hand, and it was like very, like a flesh-like finish. It wasn't, it wasn't dewy, but it wasn't matte. It was like a satin finish. But anywho, let me try it now. I, Try to figure out how to best put it on because I'm like, it's really sad. It's just rubbing my finger in there. But I seen somebody do that. Somebody, yeah, they did like fingers and then they tapped it on and then they used the brush to blend it out. So I'm inspecting it. I just feel so weird. I'm scared. <laughs> okay, because I hate getting stuff dirty, you know? Okay. Wow, that like melts. I think it's actually called melting blush mm. it was telling the truth about that okay so i just don't want to leave that you know that fingerprint that sometimes stay on um this color is pretty can y'all see it Um, okay, so I feel like it is leaving a dewy finish and I do put a lot of blush on because I don't know, I just like adding color to my face. Does it look pretty, y'all? So before, after, and I feel like it does leave a dewy finish, but not like too dewy, but dewy. And that's what I was looking for. Okay, so I'm going to wipe my hand off on this makeup eraser sponge because just in case I picked up any like um, bronzer or foundation on my face, I don't get it in my fresh blush. But look y'all, y'all could tell it melted. Like, look at that. Can y'all see how the, it's melting? Okay, so. Yeah, I like this brush, blush. So, I just don't want to disturb anything that's going on underneath. 
I don't want to leave any of those fingerprints. So I think I'm going to go over it with a brush maybe. I, don't, I probably don't need to put a little on my nose because I like that look. I think it's pretty, y'all. Oh, goodness. It's so cute. I like it. Okay, do I need to do anything with this? This is my Sephora blush brush. I usually would go like this and apply the powder blush. I feel like the music that they're playing doesn't bother me until I'm pressing record because um, it's like distracting a little bit when I'm trying to talk. But if I'm just sitting here watching TV, I'll be paying no mind to it. So, Okay. What y'all saying? Oh my goodness. This is my good side. Thing. It's pretty, right? Okay, so now I'm going to put on my lip gloss. I'm going to wipe off this. Um, I got Jack Black Balm on. This what I'm. I have the um, Night Mode lip treatment on. Um, I do have Exynol on my lips too, but I stay. I don't have flare-ups on them often because I use the Jack Black. And it really, really works. When I went to Arizona, my, I came back, my lips were so dry. I ended up getting the Jack Black Night Mode Balm and it held them right up. So I don't have that issue. Um, okay, so this is the Patrick Ta lip gloss that I was telling y'all about. So this is the Patrick Ta um, gloss and it's two CCs, which is the color. It's the plumping gloss. It's such a beautiful color. So I didn't buy it because of the plumping. I'm more so bought it because of the color. I thought it would be so cute on my lips. Cause y'all know I'm I don't I haven't really worn lipstick in a while and I really like the color of my lips. So I usually just wear clear gloss. But I thought this pink hue would be so cute. It smells good. It smells like um like it has a hint of cinnamon in it. So I don't know how much it's going to plump. Hopefully it doesn't burn when I put it on. But I will put it on now. And then I'm going to do my setting spray so y'all can see it plumping up. Let's look see. Oh, yeah. Like, it's just a clear color. And I really like this color. Y'all know how y'all want y'all nails done? Y'all want a little hue of pink. But, like, you want it to be clear still. And y'all order bubble bath. Like, this is like a bubble bath for lips. Okay, so I, I feel the tingling. But the tingling right now feels like if I had a little bit of toothpaste on my lips. But is I would say the tingling is like a cooling sensation. You know, not like just tingling stingy. Tingling like cooling. Y'all, I think my lips look so good. I love this color. <laughs> okay, is it sticky? Um, I feel like it is a little, but not like abnormal sticky. It's like, y'all could tell how thick this gloss is, like. Y'all, when I pull it out of the container, it has a little line there. So it's thick, so it's hydrating, but it's not like weird sticky where you would get it from like the hair store, those type of lip glosses, which we would use when we were younger. Um, those type of lip gloss, but yeah. It's so pretty. Colors, two CCs, I'm gonna give below. All right, while we let that plump up, I'm going to now try the... Um, Air Blush Flawless Setting Spray from Charlotte Tilbury. The bottle's cute. I end up getting it in small just in case, you know, I don't like it. Prime and sets for up to 16 hours. Instantly locks in your look for 
Makeup Magic that looks just applied. Hold six to eight inches away and mist over entire face before and after applying makeup. Y'all know I, I read instructions. Just so there's no confusion. It, I, I read instructions. Let me see what it smells like. It's giving like a floral scent a little bit. Very light. So hopefully I'm allergic. If I'm allergic, I'll let y'all know. Um, I do have my Benadryl and stuff. Okay, so I'm going to spray it on. This is my face without any spray at all. I just put on foundation, just my makeup routine without the spray. And I have on um, eyeliner and mascara. No lashes today. They look pretty good. I don't know if it's touching my face. It's a, how, how far all the way? Six to eight inches. Six, eight. So I guess I did eight inches without. Mm, that was like 12 inches. Do I need to be a little closer? Let me do it again. Okay, that was better. I felt it. What it look like, y'all? Hmm. I a visual difference it could be a mental thing but I feel I see a visual difference and I feel glowy that's the I'm trying to do like my summer routine where I want to look more glowy and not as powdery which could be tricky for someone who has dry, super dry skin and eczema because even stuff that sometimes meant to be dewy it can look still make my face look matte because I'm just a dry girl <laughs> But I think this looks so good. I don't wear a highlighter anymore, so that's why I wanted glowy, st glowy stuff. Oh, one thing I also did today, I used my NARS concealer. I used to use this heavy, the Radiant Creamy Concealer before I got the Too Faced Born This Way. So this concealer is, is thicker, and I wanted something more light today, and this was perfect. So it still has coverage, but it's not as thick. And I think I look pretty good, y'all. Like I look glowy. Yeah, that's this blush is definitely a glowy blush. I could put on more, but I don't want to. I don't want to overdo it. I don't want, want to mess anything up. And I think it's still pretty. Okay, so do my lips look bigger? I think they do protrude out just a teeny bit more, not in a weird way. This um, plumper doesn't hurt at all. It just felt like Spearmint was on my lips, but I think it looks good. And I think it really complements my color really well. And this does come in other colors, but it was this color that really got me. But I think this might be one of my favorite glosses because I don't know. I just feel so cute with it on my lips. Um... I feel like I look like myself, like my skin, but better, just little tweaks. And that's what I was going for. A nice summer look. Okay, I'm going to do my hair. Oh, you guys, that blush will probably look so cute on my eyes, like eyelids. But I ain't going to do, I ain't gonna do that. All right, so let me do my hair and I'm going to get dressed. So I'm all dressed up and ready to go. So this is my makeup. And then let's go through the outfit. So my top is Isabella Moran. I got this a while ago. I really like it because it it's comfy, but it also is a little bit unique because it has the corset section, which I really like. And then my skirt is from Target. Y'all seen me when I first got this. It's so cute. This is the first time I've I think this is the first time, oh no, this is my second time wearing it. I really like it, but what really sets the outfit off are these shoes from La Rude. Y'all, these heels are 4.5 inches high. These are the highest heels I've worn like post pandemic and they are really comfy. I feel very tall. And then my bag, I'm gonna wear the Stott Moon bag. Y'all, these heels are so easy to walk in. 
thigh moon bag. And then my fit for tonight, I'm just being very, very simple. Um, Madagascar vanilla oil from Ness. I mean, I've been wearing that one. It's like been heavy on rotation, but I'm trying to be so plain today. I don't even have earrings on y'all, which usually I just wear pearl earrings, but I literally put it on the house. But yeah, I'll do a full view on this side. So let me pack my bag. So I'm, I think that spray mist is, works really, really well. And also, like, I feel like I have less creasing with the NARS. Maybe I need to switch back to NARS. But I'm going to put my Patrick Tall gloss. Gloss. Gas. I love the gloss. 10 out of a 10. Put my sugar-free sweetener. Okay, we got my ID. Let me make sure I get my credit card. Because I don't forget that one time. Like I said. But I can use my Apple Pay. Um, got a couple of dollars for, I don't know if I need cash. Got my gum, my Chanel compact mirror, and then got to be safe, y'all. Um, yeah, so I was just switching out of my Amazon bag that I wear all the time, especially for my errands. What else do I want to bring? I feel like I could bring my Fix Plus spray if I feel dry, you know, throughout the evening. But I feel so good with this airbrush. Hopefully the lighting is capturing my makeup really well. So like, I think it looks... Sometimes on camera, it doesn't, it, like, it looks better in real life than on camera. But, like, it's just me, y'all. And I really like looking like me. I feel so good. So, yeah. Anywho, I got to pick my friend up because um, we're going to ride together. Did I tell you where I'm going? I'm going to a winery. <laughs> so, I'm going to pick my friend up so we can um, uh, carpool together. Because it's, like, hmm, 25 minutes away, not too far. So, oh yeah, I think the makeup's starting to look better. I think my camera is just trying to focus. But yeah, I really have, I really love how this gloss makes my my natural lip color looks. I think there was a little bit of plumping. Can y'all tell? Just a little bit. I don't know. Okay. Boy, I think I could be happy here, so I just went with it. Look where we are! Uh, strawberry looks good. Yeah, strawberry cake. I think I may get that one. But I want to banana bread. The banana bread smells really, really good. Just to do the chocolate milk. Okay, so just, just, get just get all six. I think I get six. <laughs> Still, I think Hey y'all, so I'm back home. We had went out to a restaurant. Well, the winery, the food was so bad today. Um, the only good thing was the French soup. That was good, but it literally burned my mouth. So my tongue is burnt. But what I came on here to show y'all was my makeup. This is literally just a camera in my face. That um, Charlotte Tilbury like spray definitely helped my makeup stay. I really love the NARS concealer because I don't really have that much creasing. Like, I'm going back to the NARS concealer. Oh my gosh. Like, it's summer now. This is my summer face. Like, and I'm still glowy from the blush. <laughs> um, my mascara looks like lashes. Girl. This is my summer face. Like, looks so good. Anywho, I did get a cookie. Let me show y'all. I still have my heels on. I literally just got in the house. Um, y'all, the food was not great at all, y'all. But anywho, let me close the door. I, some like I don't like open doors. Um, for 
for some reason. I just don't like it. But look, I got a cookie from Crumble Cookie. And I just got one chocolate chip cookie. Y'all know the last time I got Crumble Cookie on my own, I bought like all four of them. I would never do that again. And my friend, <laughs> Kayla, we had went to Crumble Cookie together and this was her first time. She ended up getting three cookies and I was like, girl, you only need one. She's like, no, I want to try all three. She literally just texted me and said she should have, like, it was, it's a lot, it's a lot. But I just got regular chocolate chip because I was in um, the mood for chocolate. I wanted to try the strawberry cake, but I just really wanted some chocolate. I'm actually going to put my oven on because um, I want to warm it up. Uh-oh. Did I forget how to use the oven? <laughs> Okay, what I'm gonna do? Okay, start. Hey y'all, happy Sunday. So it's Sunday afternoon, I'm doing my typical cleaning. So I have my washer going, I washed my dishes, did all that good stuff. And me and my friends are just gonna hang out for a little bit on a rooftop just to enjoy the weather, something real chill. So it's a perfect time for me to try out this sunscreen. So this is the Unseen Sunscreen by Supergoop. Uh, let me turn the lights off real quick. There it is. And then my lights are typically just my vanity set from Impressions Vanity. I actually did a video of them. I have two videos of like one of how I put it together and then another one of my review. If you're interested in watching that, just go to my playlist. It's in the furniture playlist and, and just scroll down. It's one of my most viewed videos. But yeah, so I'm gonna do the sunscreen. Ooh, very hygienic. Okay, girl. So let me pull this top off. I just put hands on lotion on my hands. My hands are slippery. That's what it looks like—a little hole. Let me read the instructions. Oh, I probably should have sh uh, sh um, shaken it. Um, clean, chemical sunscreen, active, dermatologist is tested, non-irritating, free friendly, no synthetic fragrance. Okay, good. Big, vegan, that's important for my um, eczema sensitive, dry sensitive eczema prone skin. Unseen sunscreen SPF 40 is weightless color, scentless, oil-free formula for face that leaves behind a velvety soft finish. It also acts as a makeup gripping primer. Oh, that's perfect for all, for all skin tones. So um, the sunscreen I typically use is the Tatcha um, Silken Pore Perfecting Sunscreen, but I've been hearing so many great th things about the Super Goop, so yeah. As a last step in the sunscreen before, Apply generously and evenly as the last step in your skincare routine. I read directions, y'all. Before makeup and apply 15 minutes before sun exposure. Reapply at least every two hours or after 40 minutes of swimming or sweating. So I do have makeup on, but I literally just have on eyeliner, mascara, and then my eyebrows. I was going to put blush on, but I knew I wanted to do this. So I just have like um, lotion on my skin. All right. So, oh. It's clear. Okay. Hmm. I'm used to the sunscreen being white, but this is probably, maybe I do need a little more, okay. Wow, it's really clear, y'all. For some reason, I thought it was gonna be white and then dried out clear. Okay, I definitely need more. Um, feels like nothing is on my skin. And do y'all see like it kind of mattified a little bit? Can y'all tell the difference? Like, so I have it on here, but not on my forehead. Okay, and then it's clear. I got a little piece of something on there. Okay, it's literally clear. It's not sticky at all. It is, it really is weightless. Okay, y'all, thank, thank y'all so much to everybody who recommended this. So I'm gonna wear it all day 
And if I have an allergic reaction to it, I'll let y'all know. I'll put it on my neck too. I, I came up with nothing to uh, bring as food for our rooftop like picnic. But I do got this super cute picnic basket. I got this off Amazon a while ago. So I'm bringing cups, clear cute cups and forks. Oh, you got four? <laughs> Y'all, um, I'm so unprepared. But we decided to do this yesterday, so it's real chill, so we'll be okay. Because my friends are bringing snacks, so I'll just, I don't know if they need utensils or cups, but I'm just going to bring it just in case. Um, typically they do, since, yeah, so I'm just going to bring it. And then I have this Moscato wine that I got as a gift. Um, from a friend a little bit ago, so I'm gonna open this up with them. I've never heard this before. Have y'all like Moscato in this blue? I thought that was very interesting. And then, yeah, and then I bought my own cup. This, my sister bought me this for my birthday, so it's not a day over. Fabulous! The pink is perfect. And then I'm gonna bring a few waters. So everybody can just have their own water, you know? I literally don't have snacks. Um, I have almonds, but I don't think anyone wants to eat that so I mean at least my basket is cute I'm gonna assume we're gonna okay our it. little uh so these are our snacks for picnic Doritos Oreos and gummy bears oh. and high C are we gonna be high C that's the high C to Hawaiian punch put some respect Exactly. <laughs> oh, lemon berry. Hey, y'all. Happy Monday. It's Memorial Day. I hope you all are having a great Memorial Day. Um, I am going to hang out with some friends later. So right now, I just uh, ordered some things off of Instacart. And I typically don't order groceries because if y'all know, they burnt me in the past with the vegetables. Like they burnt me, but I only needed one one vegetable, which was an onion. So I'm like, it should be okay. So I got everything in the cart. And those who know, okay, so I got some lettuce. Like, come on now. Got a fresher lettuce than this because y'all know when the lettuce is going to the bottom of the bag that means it's getting weighed down by weight and like from the water and it's like a little bit wet in here oh my gosh do they be even trying oh my god see this is why i don't do the instacart sorry y'all anywho y'all know i i got my sickness i got a sickness and i'm still wiping off my bag <laughs> like i just cannot like i tried not to wipe my groceries off and i just can't bring myself not to do it um at this point i think mentally i i can't so maybe in a like a few more months i'll be okay with it but anywho, so I got some sour cream because I love taco salad. And then I got some Quest tortilla chips. Sorry, y'all. It's loud. So I got two of them.
sell it in there. And then what else did I get? Oh. And then one onion. So I had a good time with my friends yesterday. We had a little <laughs> struggle picnic because first we were going to go to the rooftop and then on the furniture, there was all of these um, fire ants or like red ants. And we were like, no, we can't, we can't sit here. Like they were everywhere. It, must, it looked like an infestation. I never seen that many red ants somewhere. The last time I seen a red ant was like, elementary school and I, somebody got bit and I think it like hurt real bad so I was like mm -mm. so we ended up going to a, a park um by the lake we just hung out listened to music and I had a little struggle snacks <laughs> but we were chatting about um people's wedding songs and girl I can't remember the names of their songs that they had um chosen but they were beautiful songs and like I can't and that like so I can't imagine my well maybe I guess I just never thought about it my wedding day so if y'all know I'm, I'm not married <laughs> um and I don't think I can imagine my wedding day because my dad passed away when I was in pharmacy school, so my second year of pharmacy school, and I was like a daddy's girl. And, um, you know, a big, well, a big, a big deal to me, and maybe like a lot of people, especially people who are close with their fathers, you know, you'll walk down the aisle with your dad. And so, you know, when I think about that, I get kind of sad about it. Not kind of sad, I do get sad about it. Like, even yesterday, when I was like, well, I never thought about my wedding song because, like, I never, I can't, like, picture my wedding without my father. Um, and I was, like, getting teary-eyed a little bit. Like, I was, like, holding back tears. But, um, yeah, like, I've never thought about a wedding song. Um, I mean, I've. I thought about maybe a dress, <laughs> but not like, I haven't really put too much thought into it. Um, so yeah, but it was so funny because they were like, don't steal my song, you know, you can use it after I get married. <laughs> but girl, my memory is so like short. You know, I think I have selective memory because I remember and stuff regarding patient care. But other than that, I don't be remembering stuff. And, um, like music, I can't, sometimes I can't really remember the names of songs. Like I, I don't have recall for that. Like, so I guess I have selective recall. I can't recall a name of a song or who sings it unless it's like Beyonce. I can recall like songs she sings, but <laughs> speaking of Beyonce, oh my gosh, I've been seeing all these clips of the concert um, on TikTok. And I'm hoping they do a documentary just like they did the one about um, when she performed on Coachella because it looks like such a good, good time. And then I seen a clip of Blue dancing. That baby is 11 years old. And can you imagine being freaking 11 knowing dance moves like that? No, like I'll be just sitting there standing at my mom staring at Allah and <laughs> I'm like what she is a whole baby on stage with millions of people I don't know how many people was in the crowd but it looked like a lot more than 10 is a lot no more than two people even just dancing in front of one person as a kid even as a grown adult I like getting nervous just thinking about it so I can't imagine but she looks so cute but I'm hoping they do a documentary 
um, because it would be wonderful. We can like see little clips of the show. But yeah, y'all, it's Monday. Um, I'm just going to chill. I think I'm, uh, I'm not really too hungry. It's 9.37. Um, I'm not really a breakfast type of girl. So I'm just not hungry. So uh, I think I'm going to drink some water and have coffee. Hey, y'all. Happy Monday. I came to Target to get a gift card, but I found this really cute outfit. I look crazy. Don't judge me, but I found this cute outfit. Let me show y'all. So this is it. Isn't this so cute? So here's the pants. They are like straight leg. And then the top. It's like a little bra crop bralette I guess because it's not just a bra it's like a little bit longer but I think this is so cute this is cute for a nice um summer picnic let's see how much it is $30 and this is 20 so $50 for the whole thing not too shabby they have a denim one too but I don't see a denim bottom so if there was a denim bottom I probably would definitely get it because I don't really like patterns on my body okay booty shorts <laughs> <laughs> uh, they look like good quality though I'm gonna do these anyways mm. they don't have a they don't have a price on them, so sorry, y'all. Hey, y'all. Happy Wednesday. Oh, crap. I forgot to get the tape I wanted. But happy Wednesday. I just left clinic. My face is kind of greasy from the um, mask. But I have the Super Goop sunscreen on and y'all 10 out of a 10 it doesn't feel like nothing is on my face when i use it i actually use it as a primer as well for my makeup and it was perfect y'all for all the people who recommended super goop sunscreen to me thank y'all thank y'all for y'all services but i'm in my car i just got out of the clinic y'all let me show y'all so first of all our team's medical assistant, she retired and we got her like all this cute stuff or whatever. She's been working for a long time. She is like the best, the best, hands down the best. I mean, she just, she's so smart. She knows what's going on with the patient. Like she's just the best. And so she retired after working forever. Ooh, y'all, woo, cover those itches up. <laughs> And we gave her a gift. And she, girl, why she have the nerve to get us gifts? And I'm like, girl, why you did that? You did not have to do that. But she got us all like different individual gifts that she thought was cute. So she bought me this cute coffee mug. Oh my gosh. Y'all know I love my coffee mugs. If you're new here, I got all these Starbucks coffee mugs. But she got this one, which is super cute. And from a um, store... Um, like a specialty chocolate store here in our city. And then she got me some sweets too. So I thought that was so sweet of her. Um, it's so nice to have, let me lock my door. It's so nice to work with people and really like, I don't know, you know, people, <laughs> people are nice. But I'm about to go to, um, u-haul to pick up some boxes to start packing so i'm figure i'll just do one room at a time so hey y'all it is early friday morning um the last time i left off i was on my way to u-haul and get getting my moving supplies and here it is got some boxes then I got some like wrapping stuff and all that. So I'm actually going to close out this vlog and start another weekend vlog. But thanks y'all for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, 
subscribe to the channel y'all if you want to see more of me and if you're already subscribed thanks girl and i'll see y'all in the next video peace and love